Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we will be testing software update 2021.4.10.1 and before we start the test I just wanted to share my experience with the update last night because it's not the first time that this has happened. So at around 10 o'clock I started the installation of the update and then when I went to bed I found out that uh, one of my headlights was still on and uh, a reset did not help the car being off for five to ten minutes and then back on again didn't help driving the car did not help and it actually lasted until like 4:40 this morning uh, until the headlight finally shut off now I said this is not the first time that I've encountered this after an update and I sometimes do get that that the uh, one of the headlights is not responsive at all so the DRLs are not turning on it's the actual headlight and it does not respond to turning the headlights off or doing any actions and it takes several hours before it actually returns to normal but now everything is normal again and everything is working so let's get on the road and let's test this version and see what it will do for autopilot And as usual we start with the hill crest where I'm interested in the downward section where the lane lines in the middle are disappearing. Sometimes it veers a little bit to the left. The past couple of updates it's been going almost dead straight. So let's see what it does now. Yeah it goes again a little bit to the left and uh, yeah that's probably because it detects the wider lane and it starts hunting for the middle of that lane. So here we are coming up on a roundabout. Now let's see how well it actually does it. If there's some improvement there. It is slowing down still. That's good. Now let's see how it tries to react. Yeah, it beeps almost immediately and still drives into the opposite side of that uh, roundabout. So yeah, definitely no improvement whatsoever on the roundabouts, even though it should be possible in Europe under the current regulations, if you have the proper speed to actually take a roundabout. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait for the FSD beta to be able to handle that. Up ahead we have the S-curve. Now let's see if this update will actually have it slow down up front to be able to comply with the UN ECE regulations. So here we go. Will it slow down, yes or no? It does not slow down and it would drive into the car on the opposite lane. So that is still not fixed and I really don't understand why Tesla is unable to fix this specific problem because on other uh, turns it is perfectly capable of slowing down up front for example on highway exits but here apparently it's not capable to detect that curve or to react to that curve to, and uh, yeah to slow down before entering it all right let's see if we can enter the highway automatically slowing down quite a bit again and going to the outside of that curve entering the highway the gap behind me is big enough now will it continue to blink yep again it continues to blink to move me into the middle lane and i have no clue why it continues to do that um, and it doesn't again it doesn't do that with all on ramps uh, it only sometimes does that because if sometimes you go onto the on-ramp and you go to the middle lane, then it wants you to go back to the right lane. So the logic behind it is a little bit elusive at this point. Now let's see if there is somewhat of an improvement on the highway exit taking. Will it still do it in two movements or will it be more fluent?
that was in one movement actually not really a correction let's see if the second exit has the same so here we go starts blinking okay does the movement yeah and I feel this is a little bit better it's not a real secondary movement that is distinct there is a very slight correction but I only notice it because the steering wheel is moving I don't really notice it in the car behavior itself so I think that is a tiny improvement on the exit taking right, let's see how it handles this second exit taking test point whether it will be able to do the second exit the first one is never a problem it's on the edge but the second one tends to be a problem lately so let's see going for the first one and here I do have the correction it is starting to slow down but not enough so it's going to the outside beeping that it is not within the UNEC regulations Now let's see for this second exit it should start blinking immediately going to the right again the auto steer limited here it should start here let's go and no it is cancelling because it doesn't seem to be knowing what it needs to do in this situation and as usual we conclude with the section where we have a parking line on the right side here halfway into the street and it stays on the right side which is good oh going to the middle a little bit yeah it is trying to avoid the cars I get the feeling and it immediately goes to the right so that is really nice in terms of what it used to do before when it started hunting for the middle of the road now here also what does it do that goes a little bit over to the middle let me increase the speed back to 50 kilometers an hour but yeah it is sticking nicely to the right side of the road without any lane markings now you still can't activate it without the uh, lane markings being present but at this point it's doing great now let's hope there's no car here okay and I'll stick to 30 kilometers an hour to take that uh, section here with the island in the middle and let's see how close it gets <laughs> yeah that's like maybe a centimeter next to it but it is taking it and yeah for a robot or an AI uh, one centimeter is plenty of space we just need to learn to trust it as humans that it will take that narrow of a gap to actually complete the maneuver so time for another conclusion what do I think about this specific update well there isn't much change in the past several updates actually um, roundabouts well we really need FSD beta to be able to tackle that so that is a stretch to try to tackle that at the moment but I keep trying because you never know when they will actually release that maybe in a different version for the S curve I still don't know why Tesla isn't able to take that and why Tesla isn't slowing down the car before the curve because in other curves it actually does that um, so it depends a little bit on the situation I guess but uh, here there is no improvement and it used to be able to handle that perfectly um, the double exit that seems to be a little bit better with a little less motion or a little less secondary motion when doing the exit to center the car in the exit lane um, but I think the biggest difference uh, that we are seeing now is in the last part where the car loses the lane lines altogether. It was really moving aside for 
the cars that were parked so that is uh, really good and immediately after the lines disappeared it uh, started hunting for the right side of the road and it was able to take that little uh, traffic divider at the end even though that was really narrow and I would still not trust it to do it on an everyday basis. But yeah, so I think we have to wait for FSD beta to find any real improvements uh, in the near future because uh, I think the complete focus for Tesla is lying now on the FSD beta and they're just doing bug fixes for everything else. So I don't personally expect uh, many changes coming until we get to that point where FSD beta, maybe even in a limited form to comply with UNEC regulations, would be possible to be released in Europe. So there you have it, short update on what this particular update is bringing us. And as usual, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.